Hi guys, it's Carrie with Rocket right here. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Carrie with Rock and Chew Farm. My mom is with me today and we have got a couple of just a couple of plants that need to up pot and I need to get some potatoes in the ground. And I also need to get these daffodils into a pot over by the front garden and that pot is way back over there that we're gonna have to get. It's actually an old feed trough that at my old house I used to keep my strawberries in. But I'm gonna repurpose it today to put my gladiolas in. And let me just give you a, a quick tour of the greenhouse. It's, it's getting full like it did last year. These, Some of these up here still need to be up potted. There might be like three or four still in a cup because I was letting them get a little bit bigger. And then actually, let's see, right over here are the tomato, some tomatoes. Up there's some tomatoes. Back up here on this shelf is tomatoes up here and flowers and cucumbers. I mean, I've got a lot. <laughs> And I knew I didn't want to put anything into the ground until after April 19th. So that is next week. So these have got to stay here in the greenhouse, nice and safe until next week. But let me get started on the projects for today. And we'll just bring you around for whatever else needs to come. I know I'd like to sell some eggs at the front of the, um, at the end of the road. Because I have got eggs everywhere. But um, thanks for joining us today. And we'll get started on our day. So we're walking over here to get the planter for the um, gladiolas to get those up potted and put somewhere nice on the farm so they can look beautiful. But that's what we're doing today. It looks like I might be fighting a little bit of a storm coming in. I hope not because I just want to be in the sun today. <laughs> okay, here is the old feed trough that I'm going to get but I'm going to be very careful when I tip it over because we have snakes here in our Arkansas and that is a perfect place for a snake haven to be so I'm going to just flip it up if there's a snake we're going to walk back okay go 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 back okay no snake <laughs> yay <laughs> okay let me set you right. right we've got our trough here in the front flower bed and one reason why I'm planting most of my things in pots up here is because we're going to fill this in with soil at some point in time. But I want my flower bed to look pretty now. And what I can use to make it look beautiful is my watering trough. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see it already has some rusted out spots in it. So I don't have to worry about putting any water holes in it. So here we go. I'm going to go get everything I need. Okay. So we didn't make it very long before the rain came. And if you didn't know, let me tell you a little bit about Doberman Pinchers. Blue, blue. Doberman Pinscher dogs are called Velcro dogs. So they have to be touching you at all times. So that is why he is over here all the time touching me because they are Velcro, they are Velcro dogs. <laughs> <laughs> my daughters but he loves me and I love him so anyway let me get back <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> you can say I'm a crazy crazy plant lady if you want to but let me go back and try to be a little professional okay so anyway we were out taking all the gladiola bulbs up to the front flower bed to get those planted and all of a sudden it rains thunders ah, no lightning just rain and thunder so we had to resort to coming back into the greenhouse so we are planting up now um, cantaloupe and eggplants. And so I've got some ladies from work that are requesting these. Um, so I've got those and I will be putting some eggplant into my garden, which I might have already needed to put them out. I don't know. I've never grown eggplant before, so this is a learning experience. But anyway, so we're potting up more pots. And... It's now stopped raining. The sun's coming out a little bit, and we're going to go from the greenhouse back to the gladiolas and hopefully get them, <laughs> Velcro dog, hopefully get those 
potted up today up to the flower bed and then I did find some more gladiola bulbs that I had inside and we'll plant those in some smaller containers because those are small bulbs and so um, I also know what color those are because the gladiolas I got last year I got a mixed blend and I got a hundred bulbs for maybe $20 and the majority of them were yellow they were supposed to be mixed there was like, some reds and burgundies one pink and so these other ones are pink and red. So I will be able to put those where I want them because I know what color they are. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let me stop rambling. So we're gonna go back out and work on the gladiolus. Okay. Okay guys, so this is gonna be too much of a shade area for my gladiolus. So we're going to move this trough out by the front gate. you start moving these back over to the front gate and then I'm going to continue to get some soil to put into the um, watering trough. <clears throat> All right so I've got the soil that we are getting from underneath the hay that we feed the cows and so we get buckets of that and we bring it over here and we use this hard wire and i put it up here and what we do that for is because this soil has a lot of grub worms in it so we put it on here and we filter out or sift out the grub worms and then we just feed them to the chickens right over there This also helps get any kind of rocks or big debris that we might accidentally get while we're shoveling or bucking it up with the tractor. All right, so now I've got all of my stuff up here by the gate. We've got the water trough with the soil in it and we brought all of our gladiolas over. So now we're just going to start planting our gladiolas into the water trough and hopefully make this area right here a little more beautiful. Right, so I'm just gonna start planting the um, gladiolas in here. And since they're already um, up quite a bit. I won't have to worry about how deep I'm going to plant them because they'll show me once I get them out of the bucket. And you can see the roots are coming out the bottom. Look at that. They love that that um, area where they were at. And you can see right here they're already naturalizing with these little ones right here. So we're already getting extra gladiolas from just one gladiola quorum from last year. So let me bust these up and we'll get them start, um, planted up. Oh, look. A baby. And I'm just going to put my finger in and put that one in like that. Oh, there's lots of little baby corms. 
coming up in here. Look at that root. How awesome is that? We have a kill deer who has laid her eggs in a made a nest in the middle of our driveway, which is mostly what kill deers do. But what they'll do is do this to try to get you away, and then they'll start running away and act like they're hurt to get you away from their their nest. We are out here at the front gate and we are going to put some of these gladiola bulbs around the daffodil bulbs that are coming up so that when the daffodils are done, I'll have um, gladiola blooming. We're going to put some of these gladiolas in with our um, daffodils. So we'll have a continuous bloom time. After the daffodils are done, it'll be time for the gladiolas to bloom. I've got some monkey grass that my mother has brought me. And so we're going to add some monkey grass around this uh, container that we have our daffodils and now our gladiolas in so I'm just trying to get this soil um, turned up as you can see it's clay 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 depending on where we dig it's either sandy loam loam or clay but I'm just gonna continue to get this turned over so that it's easy for the roots of the monkey grass to take root and I'll show you the finished product in a minute. I'm surprised that I have earthworms in this considering that this is very um, clay soil. found quite a few earthworms while I'm digging here. Okay, I'm planting the monkey grass. This monkey grass, my husband's aunt, or great aunt, gave my mom 30 years ago when she moved into her house. So now, it's gone from my great Hunter's great aunt's house to my mom's house to my house. Okay guys, I know that the wind has picked up so I know the audio is going to be bad but I'm just going to show you um, what we've done with the front, front gate flower bed. Let me flip y'all around. So we planted some gladiolas in with the daffodils. We've got the monkey grass going around the back of the trough. And we've added some right here around the front. And hopefully these will take off and we'll have a good, beautiful showing at the front gate. We've got our gladiolas planted in here. These right here, there's a whole bunch of just bulbs that are just starting to sprout right in here. So that's why there is an area of looks like emptiness, but there are, and there's also little bulbs in between all of these. So we've got a pretty good little trough of gladiolas that is going to be beautiful right here at the gate. Thank you guys for joining me today as we potted up our gladiolas and added some monkey grass at the front gate and make what you have beautiful.